Also, with regards to the Pesach, it's important to note there's a custom that is uh, observed in several um, communities among Amisen, especially among Hasidim, especially among Hasidic Chabad. Uh, this is called Matzah Shruya, or uh, Gibrakt, as it's called in Yiddish, which is when Matzah gets wet. According to uh, Rav Baalatanya and other poskim, sometimes, even when you bake the Matzah, and now it can't become Hamitz, but there's always a little bit of flour left on the outside of the Matzah, and if it gets wet, it's possible that it'll get chametz. Therefore, whenever they eat matzah, they're very careful for it not to come into contact with any liquid. That's why sometimes if you ever eat on Pesach, especially by the Seder with, with Chabad Nikim, you'll see them eating the matzah inside a plastic bag or whatever, and then they wrap up the tablecloth, and only then do they bring the food because they're worried about wet matzah or gebrakt. Nevertheless, the Gaon Mivinna and most poskim, and this is actually the minhag of all of the Sparadim, is not to be concerned for matzah shruya. We're not concerned whatsoever. Even if there's a little bit of flour on the outside of the matzah, once it's baked in the oven, it loses its power to become chametz, and it is perfectly acceptable, according to the Sephardic custom and tradition, to wet the matzah. Also, another, another uh, idea that is subject to a debate among the poskim is, what if you make Pesach cakes and cookies? If you take matzah, and you grind it up into matzah meal, and you use that to make cakes, cookies, whatever, is that permissible or not? Araf Knesset Gdola, Rabbeinu Chaim ben Benisti, he writes that you shouldn't do this on Pesach. Why? Because Ami Haaretz might make a mistake and say, oh, you see, cakes and cookies, they might interpret it that you used regular flour to make uh, cakes and cookies on Pesach, and they might ca- come to make chametz. That's the opinion of the Knesset Gdola. Nevertheless, once again, we do not hold like this opinion. Many great Sephardic poskim, including the Pri Chadash, Rabbeinu Chizkiyad Siwa, and other poskim, they hold that no, we don't find that the Chachamim were concerned about such a big error. Even Ami Haaretz know that there's a difference between uh, regular flour and matzah meal. And therefore, it's the minhag of all of Am Yisrael to make Pesach cakes and cookies using matzah meal or potato starch or almond flour or any other non chametz alternative uh, and we're not concerned for this grave error that Ami Haaretz might make. Yom Tov.